scenery on this module, I'm going to use Woodland Scenic Shaper Sheet, some of the Woodland Scenic Shaper Sheet plaster, and I'm also going to mix in a few drops of earth undercoat. So I'm going by their instructions, which are eight ounces of the Shaper Sheet powder to three ounces of water. It makes a slightly runny consistency, and I'm putting it on with a Woodland Scenic silicone brush which is very good for the bristles getting the liquid into the little nooks and crannies of the shaper sheet and it's also great for cleanup. So let's finish painting this whole section. And here we go, there's the finished product. It went on a really easy and there were a few bits of spattering, so I'm glad I used the masking tape to cover the track up. Uh, I wouldn't want to have to scrape that off after the fact. And uh, we've got this four foot section here fully covered, and uh, we've still got just a little bit left over in the bottom there, not much though, pretty much covered the section as I needed. So I'll have to... Uh, let this dry now. I'll check the instructions on the box here to see how long I have to let that set up for. And I think it says here, uh, let dry for 24 hours. So we'll leave it be and see what it's like when we come back. And now it's dried. movable based on where it's attached but it's set nice and nice and hard so it's perfect now ready for painting and static grassing here we go the Ballast has been put in between the Cato Unitrack and we've got some static grass down and green colouring over the top of the shape sheet. 